Hi everybody, welcome back to Nell and Ruth Designs. Uh, I didn't plan on making a video, however, let me turn this off here, I think that's better, my little light. However, I'm right in the middle of making two birthday cards, belated cards, and I just thought that I would um, stop my show. I'm watching George Gently on Acorn TV, who I love. I'm almost done with that series. And I just thought that I would share um, what I'm doing with my cards here. So um, I'd love to have you pop in and I will try to make this quick. I have my card, one of the cards over here to the left, I just need to glue, stamp. This one I thought I would share this stamp set. Uh, this is from Timu and I think I got this at Timu. And I just love this, this woman here. Um, this is for a belated birthday card for a young lady. Um, she turned 20, and I just thought she would get a kick out of it. So I'm grab, I've am i grabbed her, and I've grabbed one of her the sayings. So I will show you what that is. And I'm using, um, because I want to watercolor this, I have some watercolor paper that I cut down. This is my card. It's just taken from an 8.5 by 11 paper you cut in half. And then um, you end up with, what, five and a half by eight, eight and a half, because this is at four and a quarter. Um, but if you want to go back, I have other card videos, and I've cut the, the cards out on those videos. So I cut this out to fit on here. I'm going to back it, but I wanted to use a watercolor paper. So I have my little um, We Are Memory, it's a We Are Memory press, and I'm using my VersaFine. I'm just going to go over this again a little bit um, because I am going to be using watercolor. So I have this all positioned and I'm just going to bring her over like this and I'm going to press her down. But sometimes I just, I like to make cards and do other crafts um, behind the scenes. And then that way I can get caught up on my, my shows that I haven't been able to watch in a while. Now, I like using the We Are, this is We Are Precision Press. I like using this because if the stamp doesn't stamp in its entirety, I can flip it back and forth and do it. So you see here where it didn't pick up the ink. Um, and again, also, this is on, uh, I have to remember, this is on watercolor paper. So it um, it's going to be a little bumpy, you can see here. And hopefully, this will come out a little bit better. But sometimes it is hard to stamp on watercolor paper. And I think this is, this is cold pressed surface. So it should be a little bit smoother. If I don't like the way this presses out on here, what I'll do is I will get, oh, there we go. That's much better. So I just had to re-ink it. So here is the... Um, what will be going on the card like this. And I'm going to get a background, a funky background. And I I know what I want to put on here because, again, I want it to be a little um, fun and flirty. Like I said, she's 20. So I'm going to grab the background paper, and we will do that, and then we will use some watercolors. So I pulled my large paper pad here and I want to I don't want polka dots um, I just thought I would flip through this I want something with a lot of fun colors in the background so we'll just have to see here oh, let's see I hope everybody is doing well I feel 
today is a Monday and I feel busy, 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 busy. I just feel behind. Today's actually bill day and um, oh, that might be kind of cute. I don't have a lot of room on the card though, so it's just going to be a... Um, It's going to be, let's see, too, too green, too greeny, greeny. It's just going to have a little border around it. So I just want to find the right amount of pattern. I don't really want to go with green. Maybe a pink, something like that. Let's do that. We will try this. Um, but like I said, today's a Monday and I have to pay a couple bills and uh, get myself in order here. Um, but, and these are, these are monetary gifts. So I said, well, I've been putting these off. The, per <laughs> the birthdays have come and gone. And I got, I'll show you what I got my girlfriend's daughter. When we were away, we went to a, um, a glass, I think I'll do this one over here. We went to a glass blowing place and, uh, may put a little bit of washi tape on the top here and what I'll do is before I attach it because I'd like to put the washi tape seal it behind there so let's see what I have maybe I'll use my black and white polka dot stuff again I I just think that's fun to use um, but I got her a really cute pair of earrings and they're really pretty so she's getting earrings because when I saw her last I had a a fun pair on um, that I had that I had got in um, Key West and she really liked them so and she liked how lightweight they were this might be kind of fun because it kind of matches so I found these earrings for her um, And I'm sending her, I'll show you now, because I just think they're really pretty. I'm sending her these. And they're made out of aluminum. You can see the back. They're very, very lightweight. But I thought that they were really fun. Really fun and flirty. So that's why I'm making this style card. Because um, I think this will just be, this will just be fun. So we'll put that right there like that. And then, see, I want to just turn these over. Um, I'm not going to put any on the bottom. That way I don't have to cut it and I don't have to worry about, um, about it coming up. And you can tell I didn't have a stainless steel uh, pin in my, because the brown in my glue, because it came out brown. So we are going to have to fix that. All right, so... Let's move the saying over here. And I'm going to put it on here with a little bit of extra. That way I can cut it down to the size border I want on this. And I don't know if you make greeting cards, but I really like to make them. It's funny, my... My son bought a, let's see, what was the last card he bought? 
uh, was it Father's Day? I think it was a Father's Day card. And he says, Mom, I'm not buying cards anymore. He says, there's no good cards out there. And uh, let's see how much room I have to play with. Um, he says, I don't really like the sayings. He says, and they're just so expensive. I says, well, just tell me what you what you want or what you need and I'll I'll make you some cards or I'll make you a card my girlfriend just contacted me and she says I need a wedding card she goes I don't know how busy you are and I've always been really good about making her wedding cards when she needs one but I don't know I just don't know if I have the time right now I hate to say no, but I can't stretch myself thin either. Okay, so that works out really well. That's cute. All right, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it. And what I'll do is I'm going to put, hopefully this will fit. Oh, yeah. I have a happy belated, I have a happy belated birthday. So I'm going to stamp that first because once I get... I'm going to do it on both of the cards because once I get uh, the paint. Um, okay, so I have to think here. I have to stop talking a minute because I don't want to put it like this. I have to, let's see, let's do it this way, right? So I can open this up like this. And we're going to put the happy belated. It just says belated birthday wishes. Not. We'll get that there like that. Okay. Okay, so let's get this inked up. And I'll use the VersaFine again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little tiny piece um, of washi tape that I don't... I don't like and I'm going to tape this down okay that way I don't have to worry about the card moving and I can keep it right in its place and I'm going to put a little piece Gonna wipe that off there. Okay. All right. So now we can bring this down. And I'm gonna ink that again. Maybe it's these stamps, because this is on very thin, not thin, but very fine paper. There we go. I like the, the writing, the cursive on that as well. All right, so we'll take this off. And I think while I have um, this out, I'm going to stamp the center of the other card as well for her brother. All right, so we will set this aside. And then let's see. Um, this is going to be stamped across this way. So I'm going to want to clean that off before I stamp because, let's see. So I think I will do this one 
this way. So we'll get this down. Make sure I'm in camera here. Okay, and then we'll stamp this one this way. All right, I'm just going to wipe this down and then we will stamp this card. All right, this is all clean. So we're gonna put this, I don't like that little mark there. Have to make sure I write over that. We'll put that right about there. So that'll be good like that. All right, and we will pick it up. Is that right? Yes, that's right. That is right. Okay. This I will probably have to do again as well. Maybe if I press it a little bit longer. What do they say? Oh, the little eye isn't. What do they say? There's like a 20 second rule or whatever. I didn't get my eye there. How come the little eye isn't? Oh, the eye didn't come out on the other one either. That's interesting. When I'm looking back at the the other one, the eye is not stamping out. Well, I can use my little marker. Interesting. On the on the birthday too, it's not appearing, but that's okay. I will use my marker for that. So we're going to put that over there. We will take this one off. I will let this dry. I think these inks dry quickly, but I just like to I just like to be careful. All right, so we'll set this over here by Aiden's card. Let's see. We're gonna put that there. We'll put that down there. Okay, let's come back here and we will get our watercolor paints and have some fun. So I have my paints. I went and grabbed them. Oh, I guess I will. No, I'm going to do it this way. And I've got my water to the right here. So, and I did find some little tiny small brushes um, because this is a tiny stamp. So, uh, let's see. So we've got some pinks here, reds. Um, somebody used orange and pink the other day, and I don't want to use it on here, but I thought it would be fun to, let's see, what are we going to use for her? Maybe we can do, and I'm just going to do some accent. I think we'll do some, how about this here, maybe like this mauve color. We'll start with our little hat up here. And again, I just want to do it where I'm just kind of accenting. And maybe we'll do her skirt the same, the same colors.
and she has her collar and her cuffs. Um, we're going to make that a little different color. So we've got pink in here. What color do I make the boa? Um, we could make the bow. We could bring another color and let's make the boa a fun um, let's see I have this here I want to see what color this is going to be so let me get out a little scrap but I have this shiny it's more of a I don't really want to do dark. This is like a. I want to go with that color. Maybe we could do a. Maybe a fun blue. Have that. We have a light blue. Maybe this light blue would be fun. I wish I had little plumes coming out of it. You ever seen those feather boas with the... Fun little plumes. And then maybe we could just do a little accent of... This blue here. I know nothing about shading or where you add your contrast or anything like that. All right, so we got that. And then let's see, so she got her jacket. Uh, still kind of like that orange, that shiny. But I think we really do need a different contrasting. How about if we do, because there's a little bit of yellow around here, make it fun and wild, right? These will be her cuffs and her collar. And then maybe I can just really, I have the yellow here that maybe it'll be much lighter. I could just do a tint. Just a hint. Of yellow here. All right, that's good. And then her shoes. Let's make them a... I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this little one that's a little more pointed. I'll just make these a hint of purple. And then I guess we could give her some purple earrings, right? Let's put them in there and there. We'll accent her 
little ring here. All right, I think that's good. Um, we should probably do her hair, right? Maybe we could make her this. Make her crazy redhead. Although it's not really red, it's more of a... All right, I think that's good. And the only thing I see here is I just have to add... I missed a little spot with this blue right here. There, right there. Okay, and I think that's good. Just enough to accent her and um, just have her stand out a little bit. So here is the birthday belated wishes. I'm going to let her dry for a few minutes, and then we will come back and get her on, because I'm going to have to flip her over. So I think that'll be a cute, that'll be a cute card. So I'm going to set her aside, and then let's do the mail. So this is all dry. So I wasn't quite sure. At first, for the 18-year-old, I was going to get out my large numbers and use you know, do something with 18 and make a, a little saying or something of that sort. And then I got thinking, he, he's been fishing his whole life. And he just went to Florida on a big um, deep seaving, deep seaving, <laughs> deep sea uh, fishing, ocean fishing um, excursion with friends. So I have this book, which I haven't really used yet. <laughs> I bought this, uh, it's 1954, and I wanted to use this in my dad's scrapbook. My dad was a great fisherman. Um, he used to tie his own flies. He loved fly fishing. He had all kinds of rods and bamboo poles and such. So I got thinking that I, I went and I pulled this out and I thought it would be perfect. So I found an ad in there that it's the new Martin spinning reel. And I cut it down, backed it with some black. And then I'm going to put this on the front cover. This will be um, the background. And I thought this would just be a nice, nice simple card to get your point across. So we're going to get this on here like that. All right. And then I have these fish that I remembered I had cut out. And I really like these. So I thought I would add these to the front. Um... like that they could be swimming along and I just think it makes it more personalized that's why I do like making handmade cards um, because then the the recipient knows that it's tailored towards them and you know, you have put some thought into this. And it gives me a chance to use my items that I've cut out and cut up. And I don't know what I do with my tweezers. Oh, here they are. And we'll put that one right there. I want him to see the prices you know, 1999. Okay. <clears throat> so, and then belated birthday wishes. So I think that's nice. So that one is done. And then let us get, I have a, a little surprise at the end too. I want to show you. All right. This should be dry. This is really fun. I'd like to make more of these for my girlfriend's
And homemade cards are nice too. They're, people tend to save their cards. They're not going to throw them away. At least that's what I tell myself. And then here is this one for my girlfriend's daughter. I think this is really cute. Shopping makes everything better. Belated birthday wishes. So I will cross my T's and dot my I's in those. And then I want to show you, this was sent to me from one of my YouTube viewers. And um, I was so happy to receive this. Because if you remember back, I made some... Uh, journaling cards like this and I used my blower it's a whole tutorial and Joy was kind enough to create one um, where she lives and send it to me and it was such a nice surprise to receive this in the mail and I just love it, it says do what you love love what, love what you do and then she wrote me a very heartfelt message in here and this is going to be going into my collection. I'll probably put this in my junk journal. I'll make a nice pocket for it. Um, but she explained, this is a Tim Holtz image here. I'm not sure whose stamp. It might be a uh, Dinah Wakely. I'm not sure. And then what I really like, too, about this is she just punched some circles and added some plain uh, paper punch circles to this with a couple um, stamps, which I absolutely love. I love the birds. She knows I love birds. And what she did, she told me she didn't have a blower like I used, a handheld blower. She used a toothpick. And I just think this came out marvelous. So thank you, Joy. I wanted to show everyone this. And, um, you know, sometimes I wonder if the techniques and the things that I make and create um, resonate um, with my viewers. Um, I never know. I'm, I'm not sure what, what everybody really likes out there that I do. And so items like this just fill my heart with joy, no pun intended. And I just, I love it. So I'm glad that you enjoyed the, the video. And I'm also glad, Joy, that you tried this. And I'm even happier that, um, I was a recipient of a card you made. So thank you. But I wanted to show everyone that. So these are my cards today um, with a little extra feature for Joy. And um, I hope you liked this video. I love making cards. Um, I, I think my recipients like what I send them. And I hope you take into consideration making cards as well. Um, and check out uh, the stamps on Timu because there's some really, really fun ones. And this gal comes with a lot of different sayings. Um, keep fussy cutting. Find some of the old vintage books if you go to a garage sale or whatever. Um, and, and pick something up like this because it does come in handy. So I want to thank everybody for joining in today. I hope you have a marvelous day. If you liked this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up, leave your comments, um, hit that notification bell so you can see when a new video is coming your way. And um, I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.